Hello and welcome to this tutorial on usage of BigBlueButton to conduct your online class. BigBlueButton is an open source software which is freely available for use. To begin with, you can access the BigBlueButton site at bigbluebutton.org. Once you're in, you click on Try Now and it will prompt you to sign in or sign up. Now I have an account which is linked to my UMS Gmail account, so I will click on sign in and I will select my Google account which is my official UMS Google account. I click on sign in with Google. Once I click on my sign in, I will be led to my virtual classrooms. These are some of the other virtual classrooms which I have created and these are not active now but what I have is this classroom here which is available at this link. Now this link will only be active when my class is being conducted. Post class this link will no longer be active. So in order to share this link with my student I copy this link and I share it amongst my students who are advised to be available for the class at the specified time. Okay. Now I'm going to begin my class. For instance if my class is at 9 I commence at 8.50 by clicking on this start. I will commence my class and the students can access this classroom from their respective mobile devices. Okay, these three dots indicate that the classroom is being set up and as I'm an instructor I will join in using microphone. If you ask your students to join, they have to join in with their headphones in order to prevent feedback. So I click on microphone I join with my microphone. It will ask you for access to use your microphone, it's, so you just click allow. It will conduct a short echo test. Okay, so it gives you a feedback. If you receive feedback, you click yes and you're done. Now you have three basic panels here. The first panel will show you the students. So as students join your class, their names will appear in this panel. This panel is your chat window. And this can be used for interacting with your students. So I say hi and then I send it out and my students can see hi over here and they can interact using this panel. But for now I'm not going to use this panel because it will be a distraction. I close this. Okay. So now I have my window here for the display of my lecture note. Okay. Now remember that big blue button displays image, image files. So you need to upload a PDF document and not your PowerPoint. Okay, I click add. So I, this is a blue button here for add which is plus. Upload a presentation. Upload a presentation and now I have to look for my file. Okay, so I click here and I browse my files. Okay, so I have created a, a window called we have our big blue button icon and I have my lecture. I open it and it gets uploaded. Now when it's uploading, it will require some time to process. Please don't be concerned with this time because if your lecture is around 60 slides, it will require a longer time to process. I'm done. I click upload. My lecture is being uploaded and with PDF files, that's pretty fast. It converts the file into image format and uh, it now displays the file. So we have 37 slides. It took around a few seconds to complete the job. And now you have your slide window here. Now my slides are now on display on this page. Okay, so you can see it. So you can go through your slides. Okay, you just go through your slides and you complete your lecture. Okay, now there is a button here which says start recording. If you click on this button, your lecture session will be recorded and can be shared via other networks or social media. Okay. If you turn on your camera, you can share your webcam. Okay, but I wouldn't advise this because your bandwidth may be curtailed if everyone turns on their, their camera simultaneously. So I'm going to turn off the webcam. Now in Big Blue Button there is a feature which allows you to annotate slides. So you can annotate here. So you have tools here. 
which allow you to annotate the slide. For ex example, I want to draw a scribble on my slide. I select the pencil tool and I can mark directly on my slide with my cursor or my mouse. Okay, so I can save all these annotations later if I'm recording. And when I complete my lecture, all I do is I stop sharing. So upon completion of your class, click here on options and you end meeting. Once you end meeting, it will prompt you how you show you want to end the session. If you click yes, you'll basically go offline. You can give it a rating and you can send feedback because Big Blue Button is doing us a service by giving us this service as open source. Now we go back to our main platform. So basically now you're offline and you have completed your class. So that's about it for this tutorial on Big Blue Button. Thank you for watching. Please comment on the links below in this YouTube video if you need any further clarification. Thank you.